Hi everyone. Welcome to Friday Night Adda on the Rocks. I'm Saleha Singh. And joining me on my virtual rock tonight is Shonjeeb Roy. I first met Shonjeeb at DI. And my God, was I impressed. He was a singer. He was this really gombir person. He was working in advertising, everything. And I thought he was just so cool. And we became friends. In fact, um, his son calls me Mashi Pishi because uh, I'm also his wife's friend. So I think Mashi Pishi was better than just Mashi of Pishi. Hello, Shonji. Hi, so hi, 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 Sanya. So nice to see you. Yes, we've yeah. been, yes, in less than six months, we've seen each other twice. March and I now. Know. <laughs> I know that March was something else. Anyway, yes, yeah. March was something else. <laughs> So uh, you remember this DI thing? Gosh. Yes, I do. Uh, I remember uh, DI. Yes, I met you with. And it's funny that you know you, I actually got to know you through Param, which normally yeah, doesn't I, happen. But true. yes. <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, huh? DI was. Uh, yes, I was in advertising, and you were. Yes. That's the. Yeah, yeah. That's like the first innings of my career. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's not what yes. I do now. But uh, and that too. I had landed up in uh, the, all the connections. I mean, Kolkata, you know, little village. Everybody is connected to everybody. So, and I had landed up in advertising by accident. It wasn't something that I had uh, really wanted to do. Yeah. And then at the, at the time when I joined advertising in Kolkata, it was still like hot. Kolkata was like, you know, the temperatures were coming down, but it was still <laughs> yes. uh, uh, quite hot. But I got it by accident. That's not what I wanted to do because after I had done masters uh, from Jadapur, JU. Yes, and you have to tell us your uh, school stories because you're not originally from Kolkata, are you? No, no, we no. are uh, refugees, Udbastus, as they say. Our family is from Burma. Yeah. And uh, I was like really, really young when uh, we came here. And when we came to Kolkata, that's, we came from Burma to Kolkata, we, first we used to live in Behala. Okay. And uh, it was at the time where what I remember of Behala is that we would be going to school. Some days there would be no school. And at other days we'd be going to school and we'd come to the bus stand. And on the other side were all the CRPF soldiers standing. And suddenly there'd be some commotion. And uh, we, had, we had this uh, Didi who used to look after us. And we'd run back home and then we'd all run up to the uh, chat and there would be this pitched battle happening between the cops and these uh, students and we used to we heard this word called nokshal nokshal oh okay nokshal no? yeah. yes huh. and there'd be these bombs doom doom and people would say bomba vaj so it's a lot of at that time it seen kind of that about kolkata also and was for some years and then we moved off to Shiriguri and we came back uh, later to Kolkata, finished my education there and then went on to uh, Jadukpur to, to study for that. Which was again, a, you know, coming from these missionary schools, which is the kind of schools that we all yes. sent something or the other. <laughs> and uh, I was in St. Paul's, then I was in St. Davies and when we uh, went to Jadukpur, it was a very, very different world. Yes, and that happened at a time when again things had changed in in uh, Kolkata and Bengal. So there was all this change. This was after uh, seventy eight to seventy nine when I went to college. Seventy eight, I think, uh, we got in, and uh, there was the whole um, beep law. They did, and Jadavpur had a lot of these people, the students. They, we used to wonder. They were all dadas. This dada, that dada. Say, what is he doing in college? He should be like having children or something, yes. you know. And they, they, they never graduated. Said, nah. No, these dadas were all in jail, so oh. they had been released. This was all during that Naxal period, Naxal and these were all yeah, ex Naxals. And there was this whole thing we used to call them kakshias. You know, you heard this term kakshial. <laughs> because uh, they had this sort of, you know, the bearing about them, but nothing else. So they would be there, but then there was this other thing about, uh, 
you talked about music. We used to do a lot of music. We, used yes. to, uh, we had a band at home. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we used to sing. And uh, people didn't like that. There was this group in there. They'd say, this is Oposhong Street. So that was the other thing. I mean, the, all of these things, were, but then you got around it and yes. everybody became friends. And that's you know, the terrific thing about uh, Kolkata also, that how easily you become friends with all kinds of people. Yes, the, yes. Absolutely. The warmth. I mean, all the all the friendships, not all, I mean, most of the friendships that I've, I had that have lasted and that I would count as real friendships are all, are all from uh, Kolkata. Yeah, Kolkata. Mm -hmm. Yes, same yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Talking advertising, you've done great things. I remember every time I've seen you, Madras, Bangalore, um, Delhi, tell us about that. And now you've had a career change. So, brave person. Let's hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was, yes. Okay. So yeah, that was brave. But uh, advertising, I when I started in Kolkata. I started in uh, Ogilvy. Uh, Ogilvy used to have its own building in Kolkata. It was called Benson House. The uh, agency was originally called Ogilvy Benson and Me. Yes, I remember and, that. Uh, yes. So, uh, Benson House. So all the agencies used to have their head offices in Kolkata. Once we, upon a time. They moved out before I uh, okay. I joined. Uh, Thompson HTA with Jiramuti yes. was very famous. Their office address 30 Bondle Street. I mean, it was like, you know, people would say 30 Bondle Street, like from the you know, pit of the sun. <laughs> and yeah, so advertising was like that. And there was like all these legends there, Clarion advertising. Yes, I remember Clarion, Preschool Street. Yeah, 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 yeah Preschool Street. So there were lots of legends, Suhash Koshal, Shobrata Shengupto, Namita, and there were all kinds of people. From Kolkata. So that's the advertising that I joined. And then, you know, business had started moving out of Kolkata. And I got recognized within the system and I got transferred to Bombay. I went. And then from Bombay, I went on to uh, Bangalore. And it was reasonably successful. Then my father fell ill. I actually came back to Kolkata for a brief period. Oh, you uh, did? Again. Well, okay. I did, I did. Between 96 uh, and I left in 99. And okay. that was a very, yeah. I used to stay in a different part of Kolkata then. And it was a very different experience because I had a chauffeur driven car. I had a mobile phone in 96. Very few people. I had a laptop. <laughs> I had an internet connection. Yeah, the cool <laughs> one. The cool one. <laughs> yes. and not the one who didn't have money to pay for this bus fare. Yeah. So all that happened. And then um, I moved to Delhi in 99. And uh, you know, from that point onwards, um, uh, my wife, who you know, uh, Bula, uh, she used to keep telling me that, let's quit all this. Let's go and do our master's. Uh, she'd done a, she's done a master's from the US. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the idea of, you know, so that kind of remained a thing yes. that you didn't do. Yeah. And then my son was born. Yes, and then, of course the EMI started happening, you know, so you were getting more and more sucked into the life. Yes, the, we've all been through that. that. I'm still going through that. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but I think I was done with advertising by then. It wasn't something that I was enjoying. And these kind of professions, if you don't enjoy, it's no point you know, staying. Yes. It's no point And you really shouldn't be staying either. You know, because these are all sort of high, high energy, high passion kind of things. Even in advertising, the things that I really enjoyed were all about, you know, the training, mentoring people. So I'm, I was used to be very happy, not so much about what advertising my brands have done and what's the great, we did some of that, but uh, more about, hey, this guy has gone on to become something oh, else. And so, yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they call me and say, boss, and what's whatever. So those yes. were more the kicks that, uh, I had and uh, Bula always used to tell me, just do your stuff. I mean, you, know, you want to do this kind of thing, you like mentoring, training, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> so that <laughs> dragged on for a few years. And finally, in 2004, a sort of combination of factors, um, yes, I had shares in the left. company. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could vest those shares. so. You know, it didn't feel like you go without food kind of stuff. And 
and you started your yeah, own. Later. So let's talk about your com- yes, let's talk about your company. Yeah, so uh, Bullseye Inc. And you know why it's called Bullseye? After Bula? So, I mean, That's what I keep telling yeah, Parav. Yeah. <laughs> Shanjeev named his company after Bula. You'll never do yeah. that. So. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, at, uh, at times when, I, when we're sort of really happy with each other, I call her Bulls. And when we started this, it was she and I who started it. So it was Bulls and I and Bullseye. Okay. So, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. That's so, so that's cool. how it happened. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I didn't yeah, so that's like a, you know, brownie that I keep having. The eye is still one. there. <laughs> yeah. And um, so that's how it started. And I wanted to do all this training and things. And as I told you, I had all these people who worked with me. And all of my friends were by that time pretty senior in the business. I'd go to them and say, hey, I've started this. And you would say, great. I said, why don't you give me something, some work? And no work came. Nobody was willing to give. They all give me coffee or tea, but no work. Networking <laughs> didn't help. Yeah, in the beginning, and I used to say, okay. And uh, then I took one more of those bold decisions. I went to a very senior HR person who was a consultant. And I told him that I'm willing to be a trainee with you without pay for a year. Whoa, okay. okay. Yeah. You're doing what I'm I doing paying now. Him. Okay. <laughs> so he was very happy because he was a, like a hardcore HR person and I had a business sort of background and uh, running businesses and all. So he said, yeah, come. And he was happy. He, he, I, was, I was like the thing that he would show off yes. in all his meetings. Okay, hey, see this? Yeah, here's this guy. You know, he's either smart or very silly. So he's working for me for free and this is what he's done in his life. Yeah. But I one year of doing that and I got started getting work. So this happened and then the journey happened. I, there was a person, gentleman who's very famous in the coaching world who came to India to conduct a session. I was amongst the first to do it. I became a coach. I got somebody who trusted me and then some other work happened and it just kept happening. And, and now you're, you're coaching senior, very, very senior people. I, yeah, there are some people. So we, Kolkata wala gyan dite to pari. So, <laughs> <laughs> we can talk Gandhi. and we can give gyan, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell and, me. So when I was in Goa, I remember you said you were going to do virtual Nato. So yeah. amongst everything that you do, you also did this. Let's see that one. Yeah. So the virtual network is, is, is still on. I mean, we are, uh, the rehearsals are on and because everybody wants to do it now. Of in course. October, the shows will happen. Uh, it was difficult trying to figure out how to do it. So we've again done the same thing. We've gone to people who are the experts and we've all gone into workshops, learning how to do it uh, that bit and changing things around. Uh, the great thing about the virtual network, uh, I mean, more than the network that we'll do, which we're going to do and again, the money we will give to charity. You know, yes. that's the other thing that yes. I'm doing. Which is really good. I mean, yeah. So uh, what, it, what is happening is that people, are, they look forward to this, the rehearsals, getting together, preparing. And so this is one of those highlights of the day. And one thing that seems to keep everybody going. It's one of the good things, you know, this is one, it's become a coping mechanism for people uh, through this period. And uh, try as hard as I will, I can't cancel the rehearsal. No, don't cancel it. <laughs> okay, you have to now stream it. it live because we have to see the rehearsal. Let me, I've been listening to it from Goa when Bula told me. So from March to now and then October, I am there. So please stream it live. I have to, I'll stay up at night. We'll stream it live. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll stream it live. And uh, so this, during this pandemic, there are many interesting things that have happened. And I was going and to ask you about that. Yes, your book for one. I want to buy it. You book. know, I've been hassling you for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's so, for a great yeah. cause. So. Yeah, it is. Uh, the, and you know how it happened? There's some, uh, there's this other, it's one of the good things that's happened out of WhatsApp. Uh-oh, Shanjeev is stuck. 
Sanjeev, you are stuck. Okay, sorry, I think I lost you there, but continue. Yeah, so it's one of the good things that happened out of WhatsApp. Uh, there's a group of us, we were discussing uh, how do we deal with this and what do you think is going to happen and so on and so forth. And we came up with this thing called scenario planning, which is a tool technique. So some of us got together and said, and we formed a virtual group called Future Forward. And the first thing we did was we published a huge paper. The Mint published it, they gave us a full page and we published it about trends. And then we got together and started thinking about what will happen in the health sector. And instead of making a very intellectual exercise, we decided to write stories. So we wrote some Best stories. Best way of connecting. Best way of connecting. And making, you know, something very complex is more easily yes. understood. So we've got different, like this can happen, that can happen kind of thing and different stories on that. Different people have written different stories. We put it together as a book and published it ourselves. And what we've done is that every book sold, we priced it in a way, all the money is going to Akshapatra. What okay? is Akshapatra? And every week book sold is equal to what it costs to feed a child for a, mo for a month. And how One much does the book cost? How much does the book cost? So right now it costs, I mean, in India it costs 222 rupees. And, um, Which is less than a cup of coffee, I believe. Yeah, which is, I mean, it's, it's, it, it isn't all that much. It's available on Kindle. It's called Here Today, Here Tomorrow. Here Today, okay. Here Tomorrow. Yep. Here Today, Here Tomorrow. And uh, it's available on Kindle. It's an, I mean, the idea that you can read some stories to feed a child, I think is a, is a, is a good yep. thing. You know, I've, I've been wanting to do it. So, yes. Yeah. yeah that's a great yeah. initiative. <laughs> and uh, so that's where we are right now. And, uh, and there are more interesting things that's going to happen. I'm sure. Next they, time I talk to you, there'll be yeah. some plays coming. Yeah. And the next time I talk to you, it will be something else. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure. Yeah. So I'm waiting. And when I talk next time, I'm sure you'll have more things to share. <laughs> but for today, I will, I will for tonight, that. this is it. Thank you so oh, much, Sanjeev. I'm sure I will see you when I'm allowed to travel again. And we'll do another Absolutely. Goa. Yes. We'll do that. <laughs> yes. We'll do that. Yeah. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Adda as much as I did. Bye for now. See you next week. Love you on